Hello again, I'm back at Moore House. It's the fourth day running, but rather than meetings, I'm here to spend uh, some time with Jamboree Unit 33, that's the Yorkham North Yorkshire Durham Unit. Gonna have a fun time. Uh, I'm gonna be running something called P Lab again, and later I'll be talking about some of the benefits of some of our international experiences and why we're doing so much work to give these opportunities to our young people. Hope you're enjoying your scouting. I'll see you the other side. Whoa, come together now. It's time to smile again. Here we are, you and me. We're gonna make it happen. Night, the power in our hands and reach up to the sky. So I had a really great afternoon at Moore House. Fortunately, with that busy, I didn't actually get time to uh, to record my video blog while I was out there, so I'm catching up when I'm at home. So I was over there with Unit 33 and what they've been doing today, they're camping all weekend in a preparation camp, but I was helping look at some uh, aspects of first aid and specifically dehydration and heat stroke, because obviously going to different countries and different climates, you face different challenges. As you'll see from uh, some of the video, I did get the chance to shoot. Everybody's having a really good time uh, and it's great to see the young people uh, getting ready for their Jamboree experience next year. And that's really why I wanted to talk about the whole uh, international experiences, not just Jamboree camps, but also international camps in this country. I've been putting together some of the, uh, my favourite photographs of my international experiences over the last few years. I was lucky enough to go to the World Scout Jamboree in 2015, had a great time. I find it amazing how much some of the young people have grown up since then, uh, how young they looked. It's only three years ago. Now obviously the World Scout Jamboree is seen as the pinnacle of our international experiences but we can also do things in this country. Uh, you'll see some photographs of when we went to the Kent International Jamboree last year with some young people. This summer I was, spent some time down at the Wellsby International Experience down in Nottinghamshire with Darnton Explorer Scouts and I also got over to Amsterdam catch up with the tour ships crew. So there's lots of things you can do without going to a, a major Jamboree. And the big value for our young people is not only the experience themselves, but as you'll see from some of these photographs, it's all the preparation that goes into it. It's the planning, it's getting to meet people and get on with people. It's about having the confidence to go and talk to fundraisers and sponsors, uh, do that fundraising with family and friends. And I really think that you know half of the value of our young people getting involved in international experiences is in the run-up and in the planning and preparation. That really does help build skills for life, which you'll see just looking at some of these photographs. Now obviously when you get overseas or when you get on an international camp in this country, people have a great time uh, and, it, and it really is memorable. And that's a really super thing for our young people to experience, whether it's in this country or abroad. So that combination of planning and preparation, the fact that we spend more time with our young people, the fact that we spend the time to put together a fantastic program uh, really does help. Uh, and we're going to be doing more of that. So as well as the World Scout Jamboree next year, of course, we're going over to Kandersteg. Uh, in 2020, we are going to the European Jamboree. We're taking a unit there of 36 young people, four leaders. Uh, and, and some international service team members will soon be announcing the selection process for the young people and of course we've got our own fantastic international camp here in Durham in 2020 so I hope you're going to get involved with those things I hope you're going to pass those opportunities on to your young people uh, and whether it's something in this country whether it's really throwing yourselves into Durham 2020 or whether it's a, a, your own international trip abroad, um, international experiences and all of the planning and preparation play such an important part in the programme. Uh, I did some international experiences a few years ago, but over the last few years I've really been fortunate to get involved in so many of those things. So think about it for your young people, think about it for yourselves, and see how much you can get involved in some of the fantastic international opportunities that we're making available. Enjoy your scouting. Catch you soon. Whoa, come together now, it's time to smile again Here we are, you and me, we're gonna make it happen Light the power in our hands and reach up to the sky Here we are, you and me, we're gonna fly away Come on, let's have some fun and jump the jam really
of a breath of a dream you dream inside your body, heart and soul. Far beyond and up ahead, something special waits for you. A brand new world, a brand new you. There's so much. It's right for you and me today Stepping now into the light Yes, you and me Out on a journey together before we know it The more we meet, the more we grow It's fears and friendship and love we all need to make it through Whoa, 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 whoa. come together now For one